Hi, my name is Orla McCarthy. I'm a women's health physiotherapist here in Cork University Maternity Hospital, part of Ireland South Women and Infants Directorate. In this video, I will be discussing some gentle tummy exercises that you can do after the birth of your baby. These muscles will help strengthen your core stability muscles, which will help support your back and help prevent you from experiencing any lower back pain. I will also discuss DRAM. I will explain what it is and how you can do a self check to see if you have a DRAM. Um, and I will also go through some advice on this. DRAM stands for a diastasis of rectus abdominis muscles. This happens when you get a slight gap in the center of your six pack muscle. So we all have a six pack muscle. It's the muscle most on top of our other abdominal muscles. You have three packs on either side and then the linea alba in the middle. During pregnancy, there is a hormone called relaxin, which softens the connective tissue and the tummy muscles to help create space for your baby as the baby grows inside. And depending on your collagen, some women are left with quite a large gap in their six pack muscle. DRAM is very common in pregnancy. Most women will have a DRAM towards the end of their pregnancy and after the birth of their baby. You may have noticed a doming or a bulging shape in the center of your bump when you were pregnant. You'll usually see this when you move from a lying down position to a sitting up position. To do the self check, you lie down on your back, your knees are bent, and using one hand, place the fingers just above your belly button. Allow the fingers to sink into the tissue. This is the space between each side of your six pack muscle. So it's the linea alba and it's quite soft. You've just had a baby. This is normal. Pop your other hand behind your head and when you're ready, do a sit up. So lifting your head and both shoulders up, feeling how many fingers you can fit in the gap. So you may fit two fingers, three fingers, four fingers. If you can fit anything more than two fingers in that gap, once you sit up, then you do have a dram and it is important for you to follow the advice. You can do this test the day after the birth of your baby. If you've had a cesarean section, you may wish to leave it a few days or a week afterwards, as you might feel you're a bit too sore and a little bit too weak. There are many things that you can do to help your dram heal over the coming weeks and months. One of the first things is to think about wearing some type of an abdominal brace or support that will actually help your muscle heal. So you can wear Spanx, you might wear a type of brace that you have ordered yourself online, or even postnatal compressive leggings can work quite well. Anything that comes up quite high over the abdomen that's compressive and gives you good support and is comfortable for you to wear. You can begin wearing this the day after the birth of your baby. If you've had a cesarean section, you might wish to leave it a few days or even a week, as you may be a bit sore. When you are putting it on after C-section, you do need to be mindful of your wound. This can be worn for the next six to eight weeks after the birth of your baby, and it can make a big difference to how well your tummy muscles heal. Remove this support when you're going to bed. Posture is really important as well, how you hold yourself in sitting and standing. Try and avoid slouching. Think about bringing your shoulders back, sitting upright, having a cushion behind your lower back. And when you're standing, avoid slouching. Make sure that you stand up nice and tall, shoulders back. When you stand and sit like this, your tummy muscles are working and this will help improve the tone of this area. Avoid heavy lifting and also avoid doing any activity that produces that dome or that bulge shape. So getting in and out of bed the right way is really important. So the best way to get into the bed without stretching the dram is to go down onto your shoulder, keep your knees together, bring your feet up onto the bed, and then you can roll over onto your back. I'm going to teach you two strengthening exercises to help strengthen your core stability muscles. If you have a dram, these exercises will help the dram heal. You can do these exercises the day after the birth of your baby. If you've had a cesarean section, you can begin the first few days after your baby. Lying on your back, both knees are bent. You can see I have a curve in my lower back. All you're going to be doing is rolling backwards onto your tailbone, tilting your pelvis so that you're flattening your lower back against the bed. Stay there for a count of 10 seconds. You should feel a gentle tightening either side. This is the six pack muscle coming back into the center. Make sure you're breathing nice and relaxed and easing off. You can do 10 reps three times a day. The second exercise to help strengthen your core stability muscles, you can do lying on your side. This exercise will help strengthen your transverse abdominis, which is a very deep tummy muscle, and it acts like a corset to support your lower back. 
This exercise is safe to do the day after the birth of your baby. If you've had a cesarean section, you can also start it in the first few days after your section. Lying on your side, place a pillow between your two knees for comfort and then place one hand gently over the lower tummy muscle. Your hand is there simply to feel what's happening. Make sure that you're breathing nice and relaxed and when you're ready, think about gently drawing in or pulling in your lower tummy muscle. Only 20% of what you could do. You should be able to breathe normally when you're doing this exercise. Keep this tummy muscle gently pulled in for a count of 10 seconds and relax. When you are doing it, you will feel the tummy muscle move away from your hand. You can do this for a count of 10 seconds and try and do 10 reps three times a day. As you get stronger, you can try and do this exercise in a standing position or a sitting position. A nice time to do it is when you're standing holding your baby. Just very gently drawing in or pulling in your lower tummy muscle, switching on your core stability muscles. You can recheck your DRAM at six weeks. Hopefully it has decreased in size. Remember it takes time for this to heal and in some cases it can take months. By six weeks, once everything is healed, a postnatal Pilates class would be nice to continue strengthening your core stability muscles.